Dietary fat. A lot of people still think that it's unhealthy. A lot of people still think that eating fat is what makes them fat. Well, what they fail to realize is that they've fallen victim to a massive conspiracy that was actually spurred forward back in the 70s. And the after effects of that conspiracy are still carrying on till today, all right? But in this video, I'm gonna go over the importance of eating dietary fat, especially if your main goal is to increase your testosterone. And then I'll tell you how much fat you need to eat in your diet. And thirdly, I'll go over which fats you need to eat more of and which fats you need to eat less of. All right. That being said, let's dive in. All right. So firstly, why are fats so important? Well, there are a number of reasons that they're important. All right. Firstly, your brain is like mostly fatty tissue. Secondly, your body functions more efficiently by using fat for fuel. But for our purposes, which is to increase our testosterone level, we have to understand that uh, testosterone is literally manufactured from dietary cholesterol. All right. In other words, dietary fat literally provides your body with the fundamental building blocks it needs to produce testosterone so if you're not eating dietary fat you're depriving your body of the very fundamental raw material that it needs to produce optimal levels of testosterone all right so that being said let's dive into how much fat you should be eating in your diet so the Institute of Medicine actually recommends that you should get 25 to 35 percent of your daily calories from dietary fat. But what this recommendation fails to take into account is body composition. All right. So, for example, if you were to take the recommendation from the Institute of Medicine, the average 185 pound guy who's eating 2000 calories would get 25 to 35 percent of his calories from fat. All right. But what if that 185 pound guy is 25% uh, body fat? Doesn't matter. The recommendation would still tell you to eat the same amount of fat. And what if he's 10% body fat? It doesn't matter. So what I don't like about this recommendation from the Institute of Medicine is that it fails to take into account body composition. So what I'm going to recommend to you instead is to base your dietary fat intake off of the research performed by Michael Matthews of Muscle for Life. I highly recommend you check out his website. Good stuff over there. But based on his research, he says that you should consume 0.3 times your lean body mass in fat. All right. That sounds a bit confusing, but basically 0.3 times your lean body mass and your lean body mass is the amount of uh, your weight not taking into account your body fat. So for example, I'm 185 pounds. If I'm 10, let's say I'm 10% body fat. So that would mean that I take 185, multiply it by 0.9 because uh, 0.1 is the amount of uh, body fat I have. So 0.9 would result in the amount of lean body mass that I have. So 185 times 0.9 nine times 0.3 which comes out to 50 grams of fat which i need to take all right that sounds a bit confusing still in video now that i recall it back but basically what you have to do is all right approximate your body fat percentage all right and then whatever your current body weight is take that and then take one minus your current body fat percentage so if you're for example 25 percent body fat you go one minus 0.25 that, and then you take that number, which is going to be 0 0.75, multiply it by your body weight, you get your lean body mass, and then you multiply it by 0 0.3 to get your number of grams of fat you need to eat on a daily basis. All right. I'll link out to my blog post below. It might make things a bit more clear for you. But basically what you need to keep in mind is that the amount of fat you intake should be dependent on the amount of lean body mass that you currently have. All right. So the second thing you need to understand is that not all fats are created equal. All right. There are four different types of fats and each of them varies in how they affect your body. So the four types of fats are polyunsaturated fats, monounsaturated fats, saturated fats, and trans fats. So the ratio of these different fats in your diet is what is actually going to make the most amount of difference. So in one study, which was actually published in, I think it was a scientific sports journal or something like that. I'll link out to it below, but basically scientists analyzed the effect that different dietary nutrients 
had on the subject's testosterone levels. And they found that a higher intake of saturated and monounsaturated fats actually increased testosterone levels, while an increase of polyunsaturated fats actually decreased testosterone levels. In another study, 30 male subjects were switched over from a diet providing 40% of its calories from dietary fat to a diet providing 25% of its daily calories from fat. And after six weeks, the subject's average testosterone level dropped by 15%. Now, 15% is not much of a drop, all right? It's not much, it's not enough for you to experience significant differences. That being said, the study does prove that a positive correlation between fat intake and testosterone levels does exist. And the results from these studies actually mirror studies that were performed in vegans and vegetarians who tend to have lower amounts of saturated fats in their diet. And when the testosterone levels of vegans and vegetarians have been compared to meat eaters, they do have significantly lower amounts of testosterone. All right. Now, this is not to say that you are bound to a life of low testosterone if you are a vegan. But it does say that you have to take extra measures, all right? And I'll go over this in another video if you want me to. Let me know in the comments below if you want me to film a video on how you can maintain high testosterone levels if you are a vegan. But the bottom line is that a lower intake of saturated fat has been shown to decrease testosterone levels. And this has been shown in vegans and vegetarians who are people who tend to have low amounts of fat in their diet. Now, if you're wondering if a saturated fat and cholesterol is bad for you. I'll go over this in another video, but the bottom line is that basically this was a whole conspiracy that was carried out back in the 70s, all right? There was a pathologist at the University of Minnesota. His name was Ansel Keys. Yeah, I remember his name. And he basically just cherry picked from the data, like from six countries that showed the correlation between dietary fat intake and heart disease. And he neglected the data from 17 other countries that if he did include in his study, would have shown that there's no correlation between saturated fat intake and heart disease. In fact, a meta-analysis has been published since then, which has showed absolutely no correlation between the intake of saturated fat and heart conditions, all right? So if that's something you're worried about, do not be worried about it because the intake of saturated fat is very important for your testosterone as well as your overall health. So don't worry about that. That was just a massive conspiracy and I can uh, film another video about that if you want me to, but basically it was a hoax. So in conclusion, dietary fat is very important for testosterone since testosterone is literally manufactured from cholesterol molecules. Secondly, to determine the amount of fat that you should have in your diet, Take your lean body mass, which is the amount that you weigh without body fat, you can approximate it, and multiply that by 0.3. That will give you the amount of grams of dietary fat that you should intake on a daily basis. And last point is that the type of fats matters, all right? Generally, you should avoid polyunsaturated fats, which are found in stuff like uh, vegetable and seed oils, canola oil, sunflower oil, safflower oil, soybean oil. All of these oils are not doing you any good, so just ditch them completely and opt for stuff like olive oil, coconut oil, butter, etc. And another fat that you have to completely avoid are trans fats. And these actually were supposed to be banned in the United States. I saw that the FDA made a proclamation that they will not be sold at all. I don't know if that's come into effect yet, but basically just avoid trans fats like the plague, all right? I uh, saw a study, I'm not exactly sure of the numbers at this point, but it said that a 2%, I don't know, I'm just, this is just an approximate, but basically it said something like if you increase your trans fat intake by 2%, it increases your risk of death from all causes by some massive number like 20% or something. Don't quote me on this. I'll uh, get back to you on the exact numbers, but it's some scary fact like this. Like 2% increase intake of trans fats leads to a 20% increase of your death from all causes. So polyunsaturated fats and trans fats, avoid them like the plague. Saturated, monounsaturated, they are your best friends, especially when it comes to naturally increasing your testosterone levels. All right. That being said, this has been Mo Salim. I hope that this video has provided you with some valuable and more importantly, actionable content that you can actually apply into your own life. And if you have any other further questions or any other further ideas for videos that you want me to shoot in the future, let me know in the comments below. 
Also, there's a five step blueprint that I've put together for you. And these are the exact five steps which I took, which naturally increased my total testosterone level from 564 to 902 nanograms per deciliter. And uh, if you take action on them, they'll help you do the same thing, all right? They'll help you focus on the big picture rather than on these small things which don't actually make that much of a difference. So if you want access to this blueprint, click the link below and uh, you can get that too, all right? That being said, I'll see you soon.